Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you another resource that we use within our homeschool for African, African American studies. But this is also great for language arts. This is from Kamali Academy and this is all about reading comprehension. You can purchase this at the Kamali Academy website. I forget how much um, this cost, but I have volume one and volume two. Let's dive into volume one. Volume one will provide factual information about all of these African and African American um, people. And what you will do, or what your student will do, or child will do, is they will read the information and they will find the answer. <clears throat> this is multiple choice. It also gives you a writing assignment and it also gives you a picture in many cases. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is how I do it. For reading comprehension, me and my son, we go through several steps. A part of reading comprehension for us is the first thing we do is we look at the story. We identify the paragraphs and I would have him number the paragraphs. So this would be paragraph one. He would put a one here, a two here, a three here. So that denotes three paragraphs. First, let me say, I don't have him write in the books. I always make a photocopy of um, the page and then he's working off of his page. What I also have him do is I have him read each paragraph and then in the margins or on the side somewhere, he would have to write a brief summary. With his summary, it's basically a main idea. I tell him a few words. It doesn't have to be a complete sentence. However, if he goes back and he reviews those words that he wrote down, he should have an understanding as to what that paragraph is all about. Within our reading, if there are words that he um, does not know the meaning, we will highlight those words or underline or box those words. And then he's responsible for looking those words up to include the part of speech. Boom, there is the vocabulary. You can also um, double it up as spelling. Now let's go to the questions. When I have him read the question, I have him underline the important information in the questions. For example, number one, I would have him underline the word born because he needs to focus on the um, date in which he was born or where he was born. Because they use the word when, it should be focused on a date. If it said where, it should be focused on a place, okay? So once he finds the answer, this is what I have him do. I say, let's look at all the possible answers. Put a question mark next to all the possible answers. Or I'm sorry, look at all the possible questions and put a question mark near all the possible answers because you think you read it somewhere. The ones that you know is definitely not the answer, cross that out, okay? So what he would do, he would say, okay, I have two question marks and two that are completely false, so they're crossed out. So now I have um, <clears throat> reduced my answer choice from four to two. He goes back and he reads. He only is supposed to look at his notes that he has written on the side. He's only looking at his summary or the main idea or the few words that he has written on the side of the page. He is not allowed to go back and reread the paragraph. So let's say the answer was found in paragraph one. So what he would do, he would go back to the question and he would say, okay, I think this is the answer. I found it in paragraph one. So he would write um, one here or paragraph one here or para one here. And then he would go to where he found it, okay, here and he would write number one. That way, when we go back and we check the answer, we know number one goes with this, and the answer A goes with paragraph 
one. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. So we'll do that with all the questions. And for the writing, it says, what do you think African people or African people um, <clears throat> should immigrate back to Africa? Why or why not? Or do you think African people should immigrate back to Africa? Okay. So he probably wouldn't know what this word meant here. That would become a spelling word. And it would also become a vocabulary word. So he would write this answer on the back of his paper. Okay, again, we print this out or make a copy of it. On the back of it, he would do his writing assignment. And I would also do a quick picture study. I would have him look at the picture and tell me what comes to thought. Um, and I would have him write that on the side of the picture. Okay? And he would probably tell me, what, what do you think this guy is thinking about when he took this picture? Why is he dressed like that? What's in the background of the picture? So we would do things like that. So let me go ahead and show you. A quick, a quick peek <laughs> of the entire book. Guys, I would probably use this, honestly, second grade all the way on through high school. This gives excellent, excellent information. Um, a short um, snippet of information for each of these important African and African American people. Let me show you part two or volume two. Volume two is the same Okay, type of thing. And let me show you the people that are um, focused on in this part, part volume two. And again, you can get all this from Kamali Academy's website. And it also has an answer key. What you can also do is an extension, okay? where they're learning information. This is, and it gives you a good, good summary where you can use this and catapult to um, a complete study of the person, okay? So what I'll do also is once we've studied a few people, if they were, you know, um, if they did something critical around the same time period or uh, for the same event or something like that, I would have him do a study where I would have him compare two different people, I would compare them in terms of what they did, compare them in terms of where they were born. Um, so we would do a compare and contrast or a or something like a, um, I think it's called a Venn diagram. I think Venn diagrams are used in math, but I think you can also use Venn diagram for to do any type of compare and contrast type work. So we would do something like that and choose um, two people. So I would have him choose the two people based on his reading and understanding, and he would have to find the similarities and the differences between them. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. Um, again, you can use this in so many ways for your language arts. And again, I have been using this since my son was in third grade. If, you're, if your child is in, you know, first or second grade, you may want to read it to them and you may want to ask them the question and help them find the answer or you can utilize this by doing it with them. You know, start with one paragraph, you know, um, do the reading comprehension strategies, the things again, like we do, we highlight, we number paragraphs, we underline um, important facts, we circle dates, we write um, a brief um, synopsis of um, what we read in that paragraph, also called a summary. You can call it um, the main idea, or you can write key words. And you can also um, have the child read a paragraph. I have done this when my son was in the fourth grade and we do it in the fifth and I will continue doing it. We would have, I would have him read, let's say one paragraph. And then he would have to write a key word outline for that one paragraph. And then he would have to utilize his key word outline and rewrite the paragraph without looking at it, only using his key word outline. And then we would compare what he wrote and what the paragraph said to see if he hit the high points that um, in that paragraph to where anyone can read it and they would have the same understanding. And if they read his, he would not change the intent, purpose, or a main idea of the paragraph. Hopefully that made sense.
All right, guys, check out my other videos. Um, that gives you lots of great information on how we use how we use our curriculum and resources and how I teach so many subjects. But I will probably put them in a card or um, in the description box below. As always, you make it a great day. And until we until I see you in, in another video, be blessed, guys. Bye.